Good afternoon. It is November 20th, Monday afternoon. We're coming up to Thanksgiving. I want to do a video here for you and just share a couple of things with you that I think can really help you. Right now we're taking a look at a chart of IYT and these are the ETFs that go with it. And what I'm going to do is real simple. I'm going to take this and sort it and I'm going to back up and say this. These are the ETFs. They're not in any specific order right now, but I'm going to show you a great investing tactic and strategy that I use, and it's this. Take the list, sort it by up percent. Did you see how that changed? Now what that means is I've changed this list so that the leading industry ETFs are at the top, the ones that are up percent most on the day and the ones that were down the most on the day at the bottom. It's ranked accordingly. This is a great trick to do and I encourage you to have this list in your system and then sort it during the day by a percent. What we're going to do is we're going to look at some charts. This quickly helps us see industry themes. So here's the first chart. What is it? It's solar. Tan. Solar. Walking up the 8 day. Look at how it bounced off the 8 day. What does that tell you as it's been trending up? Watch solar stocks which have been consistently in the top groups. Here's number, number two, SMH. What's SMH? Semiconductors. Look at this. Look at this trend in the semiconductor group. It just keeps on grinding. This has been a leading group in the top 10 groups for a while. Semiconductors. If you had been looking at the ETFs, what would it have helped you with? Would have said, hey, take a look at us. We're doing pretty good right here. You might want to get involved with us. And they worked. Now, does it work all the time, every time? Nothing does. That's why we always have money management rules. That's semiconductors. Let's keep on going. This is China. Let me click rid of this little note here. China's been grinding up. We know a couple of Chinese stocks. Baba, Badu, NetEase. Just grinding up. A little bit shop here but definitely on an uptrend. Financials did really great. Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, and then they got spanked right here on volume. Fell here, closed decent, but it's, it's lost its leadership. What does that tell you? Eh, be careful with the bank stocks. You see how quickly you can do this? Steel, percentage-wise, steel's up, but it's below the 50-day. Forget it. Move on. Don't dwell on this too much. We want to buy strength. We want to buy things and focus on items, industries, that are above the 50-day, preferably above the 50-day and above the other moving averages. This is below the 50-day and it's at the 200. Leave it. But here's what's nice. By seeing this, what does it tell you? Hey, I don't need to spend a lot of time looking at the steel stocks. Here we go. The FANG stocks, all right? The big ones. FNG. Just grinding on up. That's the big ones. Those are the names, the go-to names, as I said, max list stocks. Hanging in there. Home builders. Look at this. Lifts up, goes sideways, pulls back, starts to go again. It's in the top 10 groups. What does it tell you? Hey, take a look at the home building stocks. I buy internet. This is a newer ETF. Internet online retail. Coming back. What's a big stock in that group? Duh, Amazon. So it helps us focus a little bit. XLF, financials, just like the banks, kind of languishing here. By the way, we look at price action and we look at volume action. And you can see this thing's been falling on volume. This was a good day. Maybe it's going to bounce here. But right now, financials don't look that great. So don't dwell. Don't take a lot of time on them. Industrials, industrial stocks. Ugh, look at that. Look at that drop on volume. Below the 50-day, you move on. Technology. Folks, I ask you, how's technology doing? Oh, it's doing pretty good, Pat. Yeah, and it has for a while. You could sit there and look at it. If we took it here, you'd say, I'll take it all the way back here. Maybe we should start looking at some technology stocks. Yeah, I guess we should. Yeah, maybe we should look at some technology stocks. Yeah, I should. Yeah, I guess we should look at some technology stocks. Yeah, that looks like it's going pretty good. Yeah, I guess we should. You get my point. Technology. And? Here's the nice grind that it's made. That's technology. <clears throat> Transports. Transportation stocks. Transports. 
Uh, not looking so good, is it? Falling below the 50, above the 200. Leave it alone. You don't want to mess with it. SSO. This is the Pro Shares double leveraged ETF on the S&P 500. Hanging in there, hanging above the 20 day. XLY, consumer discretionary, grinding on up. Nice to see. You might want to look at some of those. Materials, industrial materials fell a little bit, came down to the 50 day, just languishing. You don't want to spend a lot of time tearing those apart. Metals and mining, folks, let's go back in time. You can say, well, that looks pretty good. That's as of October 24th, it was up on volume. Yes, I guess I should look at those stocks. Oh, okay, it's still okay. Oh, it fell but on low volume, but it's still okay. It's at the 20 day. Oh, it gapped down and it closed okay, but gosh, that's not the best close. That's kind of a big gap. We'll see what happens here. Oh boy, it fell down and closed near its lows on a heavy volume. I don't know if there's a lot to look at in there. Oh boy, look at this. What does that tell you? Don't waste a lot of time looking at the metals and mining stocks. Move on. Just move on. It's below the 50 day. Leave it alone. And what's it done since then? It's done this. Now it's at the 200 day. But if you've been watching it, you would have avoided wasting time looking at something. There's nothing there. Consumer staples fell. They bounced back up. They're hovering around the 200 day but it's definitely not in a leadership position yet. Move on. Coal stocks, zipping all over the place. No real leadership, not trending like this in here. Leave it alone. QLD, the NASDAQ 100, trending nicely. XLE, energy, was doing good and then it fell on volume, flopping around, gaps below the 50 day. Do we need to really focus on a lot of energy stocks? No, by the way, the name's right up there just to let you know where I'm getting these from, okay? Utilities. Went up, pulled back, but it's been lifting nicely. There's one negative with utilities. They're slow. They're really slow. But it just tells you where money's flowing. We're almost done here. Here's XLV. Healthcare. Healthcare fell on heavy volume, flopping around. The 50 days rolling over. What does that tell you? I'm not going to waste a lot of time looking at healthcare stocks. Oil. Oil's hanging in there, and you know that. You've seen the price at the pump. Going up, pulls back, but it's above the moving averages. Good volume here on Monday. Today, quiet. Maybe it'll start to go again. Oil and oil stocks. Biotechnology. We've been through this already. We owned this, as a matter of fact. Bought it in here, lifted through here, sold the rest of it, losing the eight day. Does this. Falls down to the 50, goes up, falls again on volume. What does that tell you? Leave biotechnology alone. There's better holes to fish in. It's simple. Gold, below the 200 day, the 50 days fallen, gold miners, dead meat, move on. Gold, GLD, above the 200, below the 50 day, 50 days fallen, dead, leave it alone. What does that tell you real quick? Hey, if you run a screen and you come across a couple of gold stocks, you know by looking at this really quick, hey, gold is dead, I ain't going to waste any time on it. Our goal is this, strong sectors strong industry groups, strong stocks in those groups. We do that, it makes life easier by taking this ETF list, and there it is, folks. I tell everybody at missionwinners.com, type this into your database. Run it during the day a couple of times and sort it by quote, sort, a percent. And take a look and it will help you on where to focus, but also where, right here not to focus. And I hope that helps you. Thank you so much.